Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswonder.com and today I have a button thigh workout for you that's completely Pilates based. We're not going to be doing a single lunge or squat, but we're definitely going to work the lower body. We're going to be doing 40 seconds on with 10 seconds rest and all you need for this workout is an exercise mat. We're going to start off with a basic bridge. So go ahead and lay flat on your back with your heels, your feet on the ground, near your butt, and then just press up through those heels. So squeeze your abs, make sure your core is nice and tight, and you should feel this through your, the backs of your thighs, your glutes, through your core and your lower back. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can put your hands up in the air, be a little bit harder in your balance. Otherwise, just make sure you're never resting on the ground here. You just barely hover and before you squeeze right back up again. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you press back up. All right, we get a short break here. Next up, we're gonna be doing a swinging bridge. So it's kind of a similar motion, but we're rocking back and forth, pressing up on each side. So it just targets that muscle in a little bit different way. So coming up this way, sinking down in the middle, but not all the way, swinging back up to the other side. So you should definitely feel this, mostly in the outsides of your thighs, as well as your glutes again. Make sure you're not holding your breath. These nice steady breaths here. Make sure if your hands are on the ground that you're not cheating by holding yourself up with those hands. All right, next up we're doing an outside leg raise. So lay down all the way flat on the ground, bend this bottom leg, point the toe, that top one, leg straight, come all the way up and back down. So make sure that you're not doing any swing and that you're not using any momentum to get that leg up there because it makes it a lot easier and it renders the entire exercise basically useless. I see a lot of people doing this uh, exercise wrong. And it's too bad because it can be really effective if you focus and practice control over your own body. So we're doing lots of different pulses in this workout. So some of this might end up being a burnout round. I actually did a lower body workout before this one, so this might get interesting. We'll see what we can do. All right, 10 seconds rest, and we're gonna do the same movement, but we're gonna stay in the middle range of that motion and do a small pulse. So get that leg out there, and just right here, we're not going all the way up, we're not going all the way down, we're staying in the most painful part, and we're just doing nice, smooth pulses right here. This is already burning. So if you need to during any time in this routine, you can stop and take a break, just make sure you get right back into it as soon as you can. Sometimes even just a couple seconds of rest can make all the difference. And it's better that you take a break and then go back into it with clean form than just keep pressing through with really sloppy form. We have about five seconds left. We'll switch and do this on the opposite side. Ooh, okay. Looking over. So same exact thing. Here we go. All the way up and then back down. Keep your lungs open. I'm inhaling on the way up, exhaling as I let my leg back down. About five seconds left. All right, let it relax real quick. Get ready for those pulses. Do a couple of quick stretches if you like. Shake out those muscles a little. <clears throat> and start it up. All right, right here in the center. Really smooth, really slow. No bouncing, no jerking, no momentum. Oh, and this is burning like crazy already. <laughs> Try to hang in there. 
Like I said, take a break anytime you need to. <clears throat> Got about 10 seconds left. Almost done. All right, I'm gonna flip back over on this other side and we're gonna do the inside leg. So same thing, first we're doing raises and we're gonna be doing pulses. So lay down here in what might otherwise be a comfortable position if we weren't working. Now we're just lifting up that thigh. Keep this, you should keep your ankle up towards the ceiling and lift as, it might, it won't be as big a range of motion as the outside leg, but you're still gonna be able to move quite a bit. Just do what you can. A workout like this one is actually awesome to add on to the end of a strength training routine because there's no, there's, um, it's not very easy to make a mistake. You're not going to sprain anything necessarily doing this, not like you would with HIT. So it's a good way to burn on those muscles, extra special, um, with low risk of injury. So next up, we're doing pulses, same thing. So we're going to that middle range of motion and just doing little tiny pulses right here. Never letting that leg relax until you absolutely can't stand it. That's our halfway point. Ooh. All right, about five seconds left. Keep it going if you can. Two. One, all right, let that relax. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. <clears throat> all right, here are the full lifts first. So up and back down. Find your breathing pattern. Make sure you were inhaling and exhaling. About 15 seconds left. All right, quick break. 10 seconds. Wiggle it out if you need to. Do a quick stretch. You got three seconds, and we'll start it back up again. The pulses. All right, here we go. You can use this hand to steady yourself if you need to, if you're having trouble with balance. Otherwise, try to use your core to stabilize yourself. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. Two, one, and let it relax. All right, next up we're doing a reverse leg lift. So we're gonna be on our knees and forearms so we can get more range of motion out of this. Bend at the knee and go up, nice and smooth, and then tuck it back in. Make sure you're really squeezing at the top. You should feel this in your glutes and your thighs. You can make this routine even harder by wearing ankle weights. Definitely step up the intensity. Three, two, one, let that relax. All right, next up we're doing the same leg, we're doing pulses, the top of the range of motion. Two, one, here we go. So keep your leg here, and we're just pulsing upwards. And this is a really tiny range of motion, but you're definitely going to feel it. Go to your happy place. Think about something else. Turn on some music. 
turn on your favorite show, take your mind off of it, just make sure your form is still clean. Otherwise, just keep pushing through. Got about 10 seconds left, and then we'll switch and do this on the opposite side. Two, one. All right, lift that down. Now we're doing a full pulse on the other leg. And start it up. Poke a hole in the ceiling. Come back down. Try to make sure your shoulders aren't coming up towards your neck. Try to press them back down and away from your head. Couple more. All right, stretch out real quick leg. A couple more seconds and we'll start pulses on that same leg. So get it up there and start it up. It helps to count, inhale on a count of three pulses, exhale on the next count of three pulses. Just to make sure you're not holding your breath, it's really easy to do during some of these exercises. All right, 10 seconds left. We have just a few more intervals and this entire routine is finished already. Okay, next up we're doing an up and over tap. So kind of like a reverse leg lift, but we're going over and tapping on the outside of the leg. So leg up and we're going here and then up all the way over and tapping on the outside of the other leg. So just a big circle, half circle. As big as you can manage, flexibility wise. You might actually feel this in the leg that's doing the movement and the supporting leg, and that's completely normal and that's okay. Remember to pull your belly button in. There's lots of things you can be working on, even if you're directly, not directly working on those muscles. All right, same thing on the opposite side. <clears throat> Barely tap on the ground. Don't ever rest on the ground if you can help it, unless you need to take a break. And faster is not necessarily better with all these exercises. You actually have to work harder to slow the motion down. About five seconds left. We'll move on to our last exercise. Alright, so lay flat out on your mat and we're going to be doing double taps, heel taps here. So you can feel this in your lower back, your glutes, and your thighs. So here we go, double tap and out. You can lift your chest up off the ground as well if you like, but focus on spreading those legs wide and then clicking your heels together twice. But you're elevated the entire time. About 10 seconds left. Whew. All right, good job guys. This workout is complete.